Over the last two weeks, we have communicated many times through email and social media, but today I wanted to speak to you directly. First, to say thank you. Thank you for your understanding and flexibility through these challenging times. Thank you for the compassion you've shown for others throughout our communities. And thank you for exemplifying all that it means to be a Red Raider. I also want to share some other important information. As we began to deal with the impacts of COVID-19, a message that we try to convey is that we'll take care of each other. That message has been shared across the Texas Tech University system, starting with Chancellor Mitchell and at each component university. That's part of the reason we made the decision at Texas Tech University to keep all employees and all student workers on the payroll. In our continuing efforts to assist students and their families, I want to let you know that we'll be issuing a memo later today that will include details on how Texas Tech will be providing prorated refunds and credits for housing and for dining. The refund for housing will cover the time between the end of spring break to the end of the spring term. Unused dining dollars and prorated amounts for meal plans will roll over to the next term or for students who are graduating or will not be using dining services in the future, you may receive a refund. This coming Monday, we will begin to offer all courses through an online format. I know that faculty and staff have spent an enormous amount of time and effort making this transition. I thank you. The transition from face to face to an online course will present challenges for students and for faculty. We will do our best to make sure that our students are able to continue and be successful in their spring 2020 coursework. Earlier this week, I sent all students information related to general academic issues such as final exam schedules, drop dates and processes, grading policies, and advising and other support resources. Please take advantage of that information and don't hesitate to reach out to my office, the office of the provost, or your department and college with any concerns and questions. And it was one week ago today that we made the decision to cancel our traditional in-person graduation ceremonies this May. I know this is an emotional and disappointing decision, but I'd like to share with you a letter I received from a student. My name is Kira Einan, and I am graduating cum laude on May 16th from the College of Human Sciences. I want to implore you to revoke the earlier email of canceling the graduation commencement. I was in a fatal car wreck on May 13th, 2014, that killed my dad and my little brother Aiden. It almost killed my youngest sister and I as well. Because of this fatal car wreck, I received a traumatic brain injury that will affect me for the remainder of my life. I was told this injury would keep me from being able to go to college. However, by the grace of God and hard work, I am now graduating a year early with honors. To me, walking that stage in May is the biggest honor and truly represents the motto of Fight Raiders Fight. Not only did I defy all the odds that were set up against me, I was also doing this for my dad. Please do not take this opportunity away from me. I'm begging you to reconsider. I called Kira to tell her what an inspiration she was and that she will have the opportunity to walk across that stage, hopefully in August. But to all the graduates of May 2020, you will have a special place in the history of our university. The virtual graduation will be better than you might think, and we'll be sharing more details about that soon. Also, I have visited with Athletic Director Holcutt, and we are planning to invite the May 2020 graduates onto the field at halftime of a football game this fall, and we'll honor you then. In closing, I must stress to you that we are facing a serious public health crisis. 
we must do all that we can to stay well and limit the number of people who need critical and intensive care. Social distancing is critical to mitigating the spread of the virus. This isn't fun and it isn't easy. And students, I know you miss being with your friends. We're social beings. This goes against our desires. We want to gather to play a game of baseball, basketball, or meet a friend and share a meal. We must not do that right now, and we must limit our presence on campus. We must rise to this occasion, and I know you will, as members of the Red Raider family, as concerned members of our community, our state, and nation.